Hey guys, Uncle John, UncleJohnSoap.com. Going to do another installment today of Don't Be a Jerk. Don't be a jerk. Seriously, don't be a jerk. Okay. So, you know, last time we talked about just being rude, cutthroat, you know, people trying to find parking spaces, you know, cutting in front of people who are sitting there obviously waiting for one, just being overall mean, being a jerk. So, Today, while I'm sitting here in my truck waiting for my kids to come out of this building, I figured I'd do another one. Over the last few days, I've done some reading and research, and I tripped across some stories from last year and the year before of a couple of business owners who, oh, let's say, and I'm not going to name them. That's, that's not what I'm here for. This is just a general don't be a jerk segment. They basically misled people with ingredients in their product. They made up fictitious usernames and popped on and gave themselves good reviews. Teamed up with somebody else and had them giving them good reviews under one or two different usernames. Um, just real shifty stuff. You know, there's no, there's no need for that. I don't know the company personally, and that's why I'm not naming them too. Uh, you know, I... I don't know any of the behind the scenes stuff, but enough other people know. And I've seen it with my own eyes with other artisans who make soap, who make shave stuff, who make knives, who make, you know, and bigger companies. I've seen, you know, billion dollar companies lie through their teeth about their products. What do you have if you don't have your integrity? Seriously, what are you left with? In some ways, I think that I fall short with omission you know I don't I have some products where my ingredients are not on the label and it's not intentional uh, you know I've had some label issues this year if anybody asks me I'll tell you exactly what's in my products man I'll tell you where I got it may not tell you exactly what type uh, because there are different types of oils and things different grades but I'll tell you what's in it as long as it doesn't you know cut me short on my business other than that I do want to you know be open about all my stuff gold dollar razors perfect example almost everybody you see selling them online shave ready straight up lies 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 there's no other way to say it it's a lie what's wrong with you buy a razor you know a box of razors in bulk brand new you just want to flip them you put your mark up on them, put them on eBay, whatever. And you say, here's the razor. And then put a disclaimer in that says, this razor is not fully honed, needs to be honed properly before use. I wouldn't have a problem with that. If I knew what I was buying and I was just a consumer and I wanted one razor and I knew somebody that honed or could find somebody that honed, buy the razor, have them set the edge, done. It's honest. I love gold dollars. I think I think they're a great razor. Once they've had the proper care on the front end, they're fine. Soaps. I've seen people name all kinds of organic this, organic that, organic the other thing. For some of the prices that some of them the products are selling at, they're either doing it as a hobby and they're not making any money, or they're really not using the organic ingredients that they say they are. Because most organic, you're going to get an upcharge of 30 to 60% above the standard ingredients. <sighs> Integrity, people. Be honest. Tell the truth. Right now, I don't use, I, well, I do use organic uh, beeswax. But I even have a hard time saying that. I don't put it on my labels. And here's why. My thought process is, it's pretty hard for beeswax and honey to be organic when bees are pretty free range and they can travel several miles and you don't know what the plants that they've been pollinating have been treated with. So when they come back to the hive and they're producing honey and wax, yeah, I don't consider that organic. It is an organic compound, yes, 
but it was not made with organic practices. Just because the hive was placed in an organically grown crop or field. So I, I have a lot of mixed feelings about that anyway. I think most of it's just to uh, get that government sticker that says, you know, allows me to say organic on it. But that's a whole other, that's a whole other chat. But anyway, so integrity, folks. Be honest. If you're going to sell something, make something. If you're just going to do, a, you know, these videos like I'm doing, um, talking head stuff, uh, doing small tutorials and things like that, tips and tricks. Be honest. Don't, you know, don't sugarcoat it. Don't don't try to get an edge by you know false advertising and it just makes you look bad it makes your product look bad and you know if you've gone through any kind of work to get trust from your customers and you trash it with you know fictitious names and games and different things like that it's it's very difficult if not impossible to get that back so all right that's my little rant for today guys and seriously if you have a question about my ingredients ask me at the very least, I'm gonna to try to start getting each product. I'm gonna to try to get the ingredient list on the webpage for that product. So each scent of soap, when you click on it, it'll have the ingredient list there. Each shave soap, things like that. So, but until then, you know, feel free to ask me. I never want to be the one. I, I appearances are important to me only as far as I want it to be the truth like as you can tell I'm in my work t-shirt my ball my same old grubby ball cap um, I'm working with drywall today so I'm a little grubbier than normal but but when I say appearances are important I mean I, I want to seem authentic and honest and I don't want to just seem that way I want to be that way all right have a great night guys Sorry I rambled on a little bit. I'll try to cut some of this out and edit it down a little bit. And we'll see you next time. Don't be a jerk!